Hey guys, how are you? We're early this morning. Wanna do a breakfast with me? I wanna start a series of episodes about breakfast. I got a couple of uh, good recipes to share with you. Uh, but first, I want to uh, get into the basics of the breakfast potato. So this morning, I will show you uh, three of my favorite breakfast potato, the Ash Browns. Uh, we'll do the uh, oven roasted potato and I will do my signature petite patate uh, breakfast potato. First, we start with the Ash Brown and um, we'll use some rusted potato and one potato per person will be a good amount of it. Uh, so start to peel it and remove everything. Now we have our uh, clean uh, potato and we'll grate them and as quick as possible we'll throw the grated potato in cold water. The reason is uh, this is full of starch and they will oxidize very quickly and change color. Since we eat with our eyes we want them as pretty as possible for uh, presentation. The reason the grated potato are in cold water right now is to remove all the starch from it. And now you, uh, you have to squeeze them a little in the cold water and uh, you will have to uh, change the water maybe two or three times until the water come clean. The water is clear, that means uh, all the starch is gone. So the best way to remove the water from uh, the potato is uh, to put them in a cloth. And now you have to uh, show your muscles. The more you remove the water from it, the better crust it will do on the pan. Let them breathe a little for uh, five minutes. In a medium heated pan, we will add some uh, olive oil and uh, some butter. And uh, season it with some salt, not too much. You can also add some uh, pepper. And now we will wait until a nice crust will form under it and then we'll flip it so it might take about five minutes and now we'll um, look at it look if the crust is nice it look nice so uh, we're ready to uh, flip that guy make sure you have uh, some butter for the other side okay so let's uh, see how this guy look on the other side this is perfect yeah all right here we go we'll side this with uh, anything you want two eggs and bacon and uh, perfect One, two, one, action! as you can see the ash brown is not the LTS potato you can put in your mouth but it's very tasteful now I will show you how I do my uh, classic uh, pesit patate breakfast and uh, I like to use a uh, yellow potato so start to uh, peel them cut uh, those potato in uh, small cubes we will start to bake the potato in uh, cold water so that way they will bake evenly and before we'll put some uh, chicken stock in it a good amount and now bring everything to a boil for about 10 minutes on a medium heated pan I will add uh, some uh, margarine and the potatoes Season with salt and pepper to your taste. 
so those are already cooked. What we are trying to uh, accomplish here is to make a crust on it. So let them bake a couple minutes with the lid on because I like to keep the moisture in the potato. In the potato! In the potato! You want to wait until the crust is formed until you flip it. Don't flip it every uh, single minute. What I like to do with them is uh, just to crush them a little here. Not all of them, just some. And uh, when you're uh, near the end, just uh, add some uh, shallots. Today our last breakfast potato will be oven roasted. So we start with russet potato and we want to peel them really clean. Like we did on the last uh, potatoes, we'll cut them in uh, squares and then boil it for 10 minutes. I want that water to be as salty as the ocean. And don't worry, you won't eat uh, that salt. It will all be washed out in the end, but it will uh, release the flavor of the uh, ingredient. And in your water, add a teaspoon of uh, baking soda to remove the acidity and create an alkaline environment. That way you will develop a better uh, crust on your potato in the, in the oven. Okay, while our potato are boiling in the water, uh, we will prepare something here. We'll need uh, olive oil, three cloves garlic, uh, rosemary, salt and pepper. We'll uh, do a mixture here. So take about a quarter cup of uh, good olive oil and put your uh, rosemary and your garlic and you want to cook it until the garlic become brown. Now we have a nice brown color on the garlic right here it's time to strain it. The reason we did it this way is because we have all the flavor in the oil of the uh, rosemary and the garlic. We will save those ingredients for after the potato had baked. So those ingredients won't burn while the potato are roasted. Okay, so after a total of um, 40 minutes in the oven, those potatoes look very nice. Remember, we saved that, all the garlic and the rosemary. So after we put it with the potato,
and voila, our oven roasted potato. Okay, since uh, we are doing wine pairing uh, in every video, uh, we'll still do wine pairing uh, with breakfast. So uh, this is the basics with potato. I will start with the basic of wine pairing in breakfast. So the obvious choice is mimosa. What to use in a mimosa? Here we have a very nice and fine champagne. And here we have a very affordable uh, Prosecco. So which one do you choose? Well, if you're super rich, go ahead and uh, drink, uh, drink it with the champagne. But for uh, most people, we can use a Prosecco or a Cava. We are looking for a dry, sparkling wine because we already have the sugar in the uh, orange juice. We don't want to choose a sparkling wine with too much sugar in it because it will taste uh, way too sweet. So the proper way to open a bottle of uh, champagne or sparkling wine is to make the bottle turn and not the cork. Just like this. And you don't want to make a big pop you want to go subtile. And the quantity in a mimosa, it's about that much of uh, orange juice and you fill the rest with the sparkling wine. Now let's taste those potato. Mm, it's really good. I could eat breakfast three times a day. This is my favorite thing in the world. Mm. This is very good. As long as you have fine bubble in your sparkling wine, there's no need to uh, put real champagne in it because of the uh, acidity in the orange juice and the, the sweetness in it. You won't be able to tell much the difference between the two and this costs uh, four times less than the real champagne so this is a smart choice all right i hope you enjoyed this video this week and uh, i hope you will try to uh, make a different kind of uh, breakfast different kind of potato at home in the next couple of weeks i will do more breakfast if you don't want to miss them subscribe to my channel and see you next week cheers